So I was taking a look at Dreamcast Guy's latest video. It's called Angry Gamers Are Giving Bad Reviews to Horizon Forbidden West. Now this game just came out this past week, actually. Um, it's got some pretty good review scores. I haven't downloaded I I haven't played it yet, so I can't give my opinion if it's good or not. And I'm sure it is, because I love the first one. It was pretty great. It wasn't my favorite game in the world, but it was still pretty damn good. Um, you know, it kind of fits that Sony's um, magic when it comes to their first party games. So I expect really good things from this game. Well, Dreamcast Guy made a new video, uh, basically calling out people that didn't like it. Um, and he's kind of gatekeeping a little bit. And I'll explain why. I'm not trying to cause problems or anything. But he's kind of gatekeeping. He does this normally when it comes to... He's a Sony fanboy. Let's go ahead again. He, he says he's a gamer. He plays everything. And I'm sure he does. But he does gatekeep a lot for Sony. And it's weird. Really weird. Now, I used to be like that... Probably back in, you know, just a few years ago, uh, right when the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, that, that's that's a long time, uh, I was big into the Xbox. And I'm still a guy that loves my Xbox. I have my PlayStation 5, I have my Switch, I have my Xbox Series X and my PC and all that other shit. I game on everything. I even play some mobile games. Dare I say that? That was me. I, I don't like to admit that. Fuck. Anyways. <laughs> well, one of the things you kind of notice whenever you see new games, these exclusives come out, you get um, people from both sides of the fence. And when Halo came out, Sony fanboys were trashing the game, review, brigading, knocking things down. And now the new Sony game comes out, and it's the same thing. Um, but the way that Dreamcast guy has approached this, and I, I feel like I'm a broken record. Uh, I, you know, I I like Dreamcast guy. I don't have anything against him, but he does say some things that kind of pisses me off. Um, as a gamer, um, which I I kind of feel like gamer now is like it's, it's a stupid word. I you're just a person that likes games. That's that's how I see it. I like games. I love games. I've played games all my life, but I wouldn't say I'm a gamer. I'm going to say I'm just a guy that loves video games. You can say, oh, what a, that is by very definition a gamer. I know, but gamer does have some bad connotations to it, like if you think about it. Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm just a guy that loves video games. But one of the things he's doing in this video, he's talking about how in Metacritic where... You know, we have your critic reviews, and I think right now Forbidden West is sitting at 88 uh, out of 100. And the review scores from the users is a little bit lower, especially on the PlayStation 4 version. And you have a lot of complaints about people was either disappointed in it, didn't like the game bugs, and some other things, aspects of it. And then you do have, you know, trolls. I wouldn't say all of them are trolls, which kind of what I feel like Dreamcast is doing is saying that everybody that did not like Forbidden West or have problems with it um, are trolls or Xbox fanboys, which I don't think that's really the case. I'm not saying that doesn't exist, and he did show a few that was there that was Xbox fanboys, and, you know, like, <clears throat> they're not morons. Dreamcast guy, if, if somebody has a different opinion than you, like I know, I know you like to play games, and you know you you, you it's your passion, and it, it's my passion too. I love games, and, you know. I I purchased Forbidden West. I purchased Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't played the expansion though, but I did play, beat the first game. But I feel like every time that there's a Sony uh, game that comes out, like a first-party game, he kind of gatekeeps a little bit. And what I mean by that is he's really protective of them, of these games. 
I'm not. I don't consider myself protective of any certain game. Maybe just a little. Maybe my favorite games, but I like to give games a you know a chance. You know, if Halo Infinite was really really bad, I'd still want to play it because I love Halo. But I want to experience it myself. And that's kind of how I feel like some of these people... There's probably some people who's never played the game that gave reviews, and those were the trolls. You know, but for people that's got... that's played the game, and they are experiencing these things, they are right to their opinion. That doesn't mean they're morons. Um, I, I, I don't know where you're getting that from, dude. Like, if, if I played the game... And I'm going to play the game, and I experience some bugs and some shit that I don't like. I'm going to talk about it. You know, I'm going to, exp you know, I'm going to tr give my review. I'm going to talk about what I didn't like about the game. That doesn't make me a moron. It just makes me a guy that you know played the game and has some criticisms about it. But I'm not going to put it on, put you on blast, and say that everybody that gave. This game poor reviews are Xbox fanboys or trolls, which again he just show an example of some people doing that. Um, but you see that on both sides of the table there. And Dreamcast guy does this too. He has a history of it. He's not fucking innocent. And he might say he is, but he's not. Um, you know, he kind of gatekeep. I I remember when the PlayStation Five was coming out and. IGN put a thing, it was a uh, article about how the PlayStation 5 has no games, and he basically just grabbed a whole stack of PlayStation 4 games and said, hey, here's all the games. Then saying the Xbox has no games. Well, the Xbox has games. I mean, by his logic, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 can play PlayStation 4 games and have games, but if the Xbox has backwards compatibility they have no game. Now I would, uh, you know, I would say if there's no exclusives for those systems, I understand that. I understand that Xbox, therefore, while didn't have very many exclusives, especially when it opened up, both systems really didn't. And at this point, it's not really. I, I mean, it's nice to have these systems, but nothing super big like. Halo was my big thing, and I was really looking forward to God of War and Horizon Forbidden West. Um, but, you know, you're starting to see this generation starting to get some games, finally. Just because it's backwards compatible, you can play, you know, your old games on your old systems. If you wanted, if you didn't want to go in and, you know, spend $500, $600, or whatever scalper prices is. I was very fortunate from whenever the game systems came out that I actually had them pre-ordered the first day they came available. I stood in line. Um, I, I remember I, I sit there in line from 3 o'clock in the morning all the way to 11 to get my place. And there was only five consoles. And we had about maybe 15 people. And I was one of the lucky ones that got the Series X. So, you know, I got my PlayStation 5 day it came out. I got the digital edition. And, you know, it's nice. The hardware is really nice. But there hasn't been a lot of games to take advantage of. But, you know, right now, the PlayStation 4, you can play that on... You can play Forbidden West on a PS4. And that's where I think a lot of people are having some of these issues is from the PS4 version of the game. Which, you know, by all means, like, it, it is a, it looks like it's a pretty demanding game, um, graphically. And, you know, I think that's a lot some of the people are having problems with. I don't think it's just the game sucks, which I doubt it. You know, I hear a lot of people didn't like the story that well compared to the first game. Which, you know, you're entitled to that opinion. That doesn't make you a moron. And, you know, if I play through the game and finish it and... You know, didn't like the story. I'm just going to fucking tell you. But it doesn't make me a moron or an Xbox fanboy. So, Dreamcast guy, please stop generalizing. And I know one of the things he did, too, was making fun of some of the people that mistyped and uh, basically called them idiots because grammar. I'm, I'm not good with grammar. I'm not good at getting my words out. 
doesn't make me a moron. It just makes me less of a human being. Wait, may wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I that doesn't make me a moron. It just means I suck at grammar. Same way I'm with math. I suck at math. But I just kind of wish that he would stop gatekeeping Sony products. He says he's not a Sony fanboy. He obviously is. He obviously is. I'm, you know, you can call me an Xbox fanboy. You know, I love my Xbox. I've had all the Xboxes, but I've had all the Playstations. I have all, had all the Nintendo systems. Had. And it's just kind of weird. Like, anytime I see the System Wars stuff starting over again, which, you know, I was a big part of that back in the day. You know, NeoGAF and GameSpot's uh, System Wars uh, forum. I mean, I know what that shit's all about, man. Like, you know, you you stand guard for your system of choice. You know, why while these companies make that money and you're <laughs> pledging your allegiance to plastic machines... You know, back in the day, I thought that was cool, you know, and we made fun of it. Um, we made fun of all all kinds of stuff. We, you know, I even have a play that a friend and I created back when the PlayStation 3 just came out. It was in college and theater class, and we actually made a play for it. And I'm, if I can ever find that, I'd like to read it off um, so you guys can see it. It's, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. I, I don't know if I still have it, though. That's one of those things I, I wish I would have backed up, but I never did. But System Wars is kind of stupid, man. It's not fucking 2000, you know, 5, 2010 or whatever to when that shit's all, you know, it's all big. And, you know, it's stupid. Just play fucking video games, dude. Just play games. Have fun. If there's an exclusive on any system and you want to play that exclusive, play that exclusive. Don't be a fucking gatekeeper. Don't. Don't fucking do it. You're not a moron. Just because you have an opinion doesn't mean you're a moron. And Dreamcast guys shouldn't be, you know, calling people morons for having opinions. He has opinions, so that means he's a moron too. If that's his, you know, if that's his logic, anybody that has a, an opinion, and that's what a review is, are morons. I mean, that's that's true. That is true. It's fucking true, man. Dreamcast guy, you're better than this, dude. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon.